Hello there, Jose Rodriguez back again and in this video I would like to show you some more of my prints. I probably have enough prints to probably do maybe 30 such videos but uh, I will not bore you to death. So I will just do this one more and if you want to see any more of my prints just let me know and I'll do some more videos. Like I said I have a couple hundred prints and I'll just sift through them and try to find the best ones for you guys to look at. Different examples of papers, uh, printers that I used to print them with and so on. So I'll begin with this one. This is a 17 by 22 print of my lilies. Uh, about two years ago, I think it was 2013. And this is Inova fiber print paper. And it's beautiful. It's like an unferrotype, glossy, silver type paper of the olden days. And it's just the surface is gorgeous. And the results are really amazing on the Epson 3800. This is with Epson ink. So nice results. There is no gloss differential that I can see at all on it. And uh, I just love it. It's not cheap paper, but it's for special prints or images such as these. It's really well worth it. Let's put this down and we'll go to the next one. This is now another Inova paper. This is a straight glossy paper. This is a sunset that I shot a few years ago as well. This is also 2013. And again, 3800 OEM inks. And again, this paper really lends itself to the 3800 with the ultra chrome OEM inks. There's no gloss differential whatsoever on it. No bronzing at all. And it's just beautiful. The colors are rich the image is sharp and I just cannot complain. It's a beautiful combination. And now let's jump over to some of the lower quality or well cheaper RC type papers. This is I think Polar Gloss from uh, Red River. It's a Harley Davidson. I took this while on vacation one summer. I don't remember when as I did not sign and date this one. But again, this is done with the Pro 100 Canon and it's gorgeous. I mean, the colors are rich. I'm using precision color inks for this one and beautiful. The chrome is neutral. The colors are vibrant. The blacks are very deep. There's shadow detail everywhere. And uh, it's really worked very well for me and now there's even a, an improved ink set for it which I have been testing lately and I will have a video on that coming out soon. Alright now I did buy some sort of no-name canvas I think it's 11 this is 11 by 17 canvas and I fed this through the Pro 3800 and then I sprayed it with uh, Krylon Glossy because this is a matte canvas and I just did not like the matte look on this canvas. So I used the gloss and I think this is a water-based gloss so it's not the smelly stuff and it's beautiful. It really turned out well. I'm very satisfied with it. It has not cracked at all. It's a nice flexible um, coating and really lends itself to this kind of canvas with that you can buy in sheets. It's wonderful for it. And uh, in person, it looks magnificent. You should see it that way instead of video. Here is a shot in just Polar Mat, Red River Polar Mat 3800. Nothing to sneeze at. It's, it's nice, it has nice deep blacks. Um, the colors, this was in the fall and the colors were, you know, really bright. Lots of yellows and remnants of a little bit of green left there. But that, all of that was reproduced quite quite nicely. I can't complain. We were walking around through a historical town in Maryland and I caught this little garden shop and decided to take a picture of it. This is again the... Pro 3800 with OCP inks. Of course, this is matte. These 
these next two shots I actually shot with my little video camera and they are sharp they are really detailed this is in Gettysburg Pro 100 for the printing and keep in mind Pro 100 always using uh, precision color inks this was uh, one of the parades remember the state parade this is a very heavy heavy matte paper from Red River I think uh, it's either Pro let me see if I have some it's not the premium matte plus it's the I think it's a 90 pound weight matte paper that they sell and again this is such a long time ago 2013 and uh, this was done on the Pro 3800 right next to me now here's where matte paper really lends itself in my view when you have a, a, a an image that has subdued colors this is my wife walking down toward the main battlefield in Gettysburg this is where the um, famous Pickett's Charge took place and this is getting toward a little bit past fall you know all of the leaves are pretty much falling off and the colors are more subdued and this sort of rendition just lends itself to matte paper I would not want to do this on gloss it's just it just doesn't look right so this is again the Pro 3800 OCP inks now here's another image that I did on the canvas and this is a cafe outside of Annapolis now if this looks a little odd to you it's because I actually made an extra layer and using Corel paint I actually hand painted this to look like a an oil painting and I will try to bring this up close to you so you can see it now some of you may have followed when I did this and I posted it in a couple of forums I posted the image for you guys to have but uh, this came out gorgeous and I used the 3800 OCP inks all right we're getting close to the end here this is again some more flowers this was done with Red River matte paper one of the polar mats I don't even I don't even know anymore uh, 2013 and this is a shot of our falls in the Potomac River Great Falls but this is Great Falls Maryland not the usual place where people go people usually go to Great Falls Virginia which is a little prettier and the lighting is a little bit different because the Sun if you go most afternoons the Sun is always coming from this direction toward the camera so you kinda get this weird effect with the uh, everything seems to be in shadow across the river but you know it lends itself to matte this will make a great black and white if you convert it properly and just use matte paper and again Pro 3800 now don't get me wrong I have 2400s I got 2880s you know I have a, the 2000s and 1900s and they all produce wonderful prints it's just that for my workhorse that's the Pro 3800s that's what I use when I'm cranking out prints all right and that's it for this short batch hope you enjoyed them if you want to see more prints again I got a stack about that thick of prints that I haven't even looked at for a couple of years so far and I would not mind sharing them with you if you are willing to sit through it I'll make it short I'll make it you know maybe 15 20 prints per video but I just want to share what I shoot and you know give you guys an idea of the papers that I use and what printers I use to print them with and so on all right, so if you like this, please like, please share, please subscribe. Until the next time, happy printing, bye-bye, and peace.